Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 25 in chapter 15. Chapter 15, first we have the wave function. Look like this one, right? This function is come from example 15 to 5 in the test book. Now, first one, we need to determine the maximum velocity, maximum acceleration. So, and then, so we look at this wave function. You can say it is wave function for x and t. Right. How can we get the velocity from the wave function? Easy. We do the derivation. So R D R T so we can get the velocity. Right? And then do this derivation, we get the function look like this one. Sine becomes a cosine and then because the T so this term comes out. Next one we consider the acceleration still derivation for velocity. So with the time t. So R V X R T and then we give function look like this one. Now first question S Q so far is a maximum velocity. So we look at the function. What in what situation it is maximum? The cosine this term this term cosine becomes a negative one. It becomes a maximum. Agree? Yes. And then in what situation acceleration can be maximum? This term becomes one because the sine value is negative 1 to 1. So this one becomes 1, it becomes a maximum. So we write it as this, this term, when the sign term becomes 1. So in this case, we get the maximum velocity and acceleration. Next one, we need to find the velocity and acceleration at t equal to 2.5 seconds. So in this one, it tells us the x is 1 meters, right? So we just input velocity uh, x, and the t in, in the function, we get answer there. Similarly, we input x equal to 1, t equals to 2.5 in the acceleration function, get answer there. Thank you.